of the holiday love yet, you will right now. Because we're going to talk about our favorite memories, past, present, things you loved, um, you know, before while growing up, or things you actually love right now. So, uh, Megan, we pulled you from your Audi. Because um, <laughs> I want to know what you love about the holidays. Is there one thing in particular you look forward to? I like putting a star on the top of the tree. Yes, that's a good one. So my kids fight over who gets to do that. It's a big job, but that is a good one. Sharon, what do you love about the holidays? I have so many great traditions with the family, but you know, one thing that I've been doing since I was in grade nine is getting together with my girlfriends. And in high school, oh. there was like 10, 12 of us, but now there's still a group of five core girl we still get together we're still best friends and you know we have more champagne now than we did when we were in grade nine <laughs> but it's a great yeah. opportunity we all talk about our kids and and uh, it's just a good chance to focus yes. on each other and it's a nice tradition you know what I like about that we all tend to unless your friends are your family because yes. a lot of people do have chosen family um, who are their friends it, 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 we always focus on family during this time. So what a great reminder to get together with your girls. Yeah. Like girls are soul food. Absolutely. You know, boys too, if you got your boys or your girls, whatever. Absolutely. Um, but it's soul food to be with your friends, right? Okay, Shy, what do you love about the holidays? I love eating. Pastor present? <laughs> Yay! don't care, right? Like, yes. it's just like, I don't care. I'm going to put on my sweatpants, and if I can't button up my pants, then <laughs> so oh, well. Yes. oh, well. <laughs> right. That is well, what it is. We talked about what the holidays mean to me. Yes. All right? So it's 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 always pajamas, oh, underwear yes. optional. Yeah. Okay? And so, and you're like, and do people come over? I'm like, only the people that are okay with underwear <laughs> optional. <laughs> and so, and it's laid back, and it is that don't care sort of, I'm going to graze all day, I'm going to snack all exactly. day, we're going to play board games, we're not going to go anywhere, we don't want to go. Expectations. And we're just going to be a family yeah. and cuddle yeah. and have some fun. And not a lot of technology either in our house during the holidays. No. Like, just because you're not in school doesn't mean all the rules go out the window. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like we're talking to each other now. Like, that's what we're <laughs> yeah. doing for these two weeks. Board games. Though. Jackie, how about you? Uh, I think a memory comes from the fact that my parents were from Holland, and so we actually do the Christmas present opening on Christmas Eve. Okay. And we go, to, we would go to church, and then we would have a candlelight service, and then we would come back, and we would be tons of food. And sometimes my mom, who was always working, she would be still wrapping presents, and, and you know, <laughs> for, those are the ones, the special ones for mom and dad. Yeah. And so. We'd be sitting there going, oh, you know, what's the one from mom and dad? <laughs> but, uh, but Santa Claus would come a little earlier for us on Christmas Eve, and that's also the Holland, oh, like, cool. because that was the, what it was in Holland. Yes. So now, fast forward with my son, what we would do now is we would just open one special mom and dad gift on Christmas Eve. And then yes. we did a little bit more of the yeah. traditional Christmas day, like, like most of us do. Yeah. 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 yeah, we do that too. We do a special gift on Christmas Eve, and then we do all the gifts yeah. together on Christmas morning. Yeah. Do any of you guys actually host a uh, Christmas dinner for your family? Megan, how about you? I'm just joking. Yeah. <laughs> She's busy so, yeah. Yeah. She goes to go pick up the stuff. Exactly. Yeah. We have a small family. We do tend to host. But for me, hosting, because I'm married into a lovely Italian family, it really just means hosting. I'm just there at the house. They bring the food. I make a oh, sign. Oh, that's amazing. I supply the wine. So it, it's, okay. it, it's a little easier. But I love having everyone there because when you have young kids, you don't want to leave the house. Mm -hmm. That's so, true. Yeah. But any, like, stress at all? Because I find hosting, even, you know, my family's humongous. Yeah. Um, but I just find the amount of work that goes into planning everything and making sure everything's there, even though we're not high maintenance people at all. No. Even still, it, it feels I get a little bit yeah. of anxiety. There's doing, always yes. something you forget, and I always remember my mom when I was a kid. We'd always forget the buns. She'd always buy these oh. special <laughs> buns. Oh, we forgot the buns! How did you forget dessert? the buns? So it's always a stress of the buns. But no one yes. really eats the buns. Have you noticed? I that? know. I don't actually eat the buns. I would eat the I buns. I don't eat them anymore. Yeah, I would eat them. Dip them in the gravy. Uh, buns like bread? Yeah, like I will eat buns? all the bread. Oh, I'll eat the bread, but I will eat the buns. The dinner buns. Oh, I love the dinner buns. I would love the dinner buns. I feel like this is a Seinfeld episode. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Shy, do you host? We do sometimes, but you know, my dad's side of the family, that's the Catholic side, is Italian, yeah. and my grandmother just won't hear of it. So exactly. it's everybody just goes over to her house, you know, yes. we drink the good wine that she has in her cellar, oh, and yes. we're good. <laughs> How many people have that matriarch in the family that just insists on doing everything? So like my mom is one of those people, and yeah. therefore I am useless. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mommy, let me help out so I can learn to cook one day. I'm 41. Yes. <laughs> Do something at some point. My baby sister yeah. is sort of the matriarch. Yeah, the unspoken oh. matriarch. Yes. So she will usually host, and I, I, to be quite honest, I'll just say, can I bring some pie? Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, yeah, just back off and let it happen. Uh, right? Let it happen.